Yo, what's up, guys? Space here, and welcome back to another video. Like always, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. And today, I'm going to be going over a topic that I am a bit late to, but I'm going to be giving you guys a full-on review and how-to for the latest event called the Progestin Expedition. Now, this event is somewhat like the Christmas event. If you've ever participated in those, it's really straightforward to how this one really plays out. The same reward of being a snow globe is now an Expedition container, and it gives you the same rewards. Now. The same rewards kind of but the main reward is that it gives you a container that you have a hundred percent chance of getting one of these tanks now you don't know which tank you're gonna get but obviously you want to get some tier 10s collectibles if you can and uh yeah you can get a free tier 10 vehicle from here no problem if you complete this event you're probably asking phase how do i progress through this event now as you can see the one currency that is needed to actually progress your way through the event is called complimentary tickets these tickets you can award yourself from completing and winning battles that's all you need to do it's very simple and you just need to complete a few battles now a few is quite a lot because you get two for every one and uh meaning that you need 480 for the first container if you want to get the box which is the main reward which i'll go into depth uh, between the two awards that you can get and which one you should really aim for but the most expensive here is going to be the expo container and that costs 480 tickets which means you're going to need about 240 battles you can get some from these golden boxes you can get tickets from them for every container you open if you are going to spend some gold you're going to get three complimentary tickets guaranteed so it will help you to progress your way through this entire event quicker and faster obviously so yeah if you're going to spend some gold which i don't really recommend doing while you do have the chance of getting an expo container from these gold boxes for spending 1500 gold the chance is quite low and for that reason i don't think you should necessarily spend your gold for that specific thing now people have gotten very lucky and gotten a lot of tanks from this it is a 10 percent drop chance of getting it which means you have a 10 percent of getting a tank from here which is a lot higher than many other crate unboxings that you've probably undertaken yourself now most of the time it's either a three percent drop chance 2.5 percent drop chance in that ballpark basically so you do have a lot higher chance of getting a tank than you would usually from a crate but definitely i don't recommend spending gold on it since you can get one for free the whole reason for this event is that there is a new tank that came along with it and that's probably why they're selling these crates for gold is because there is a new tank and you can only get it currently from this event it's called the object 452k and it is a pancake looking tank it looks very squashed very peculiar it's soviet so yeah it is kind of cool looking but obviously if you've probably seen some reviews on it it's not the most greatest tank out there now this is not a review on the tank so i'm not going to fully go in depth on it but basically you should know that this event is primarily for that tank because it just released within this event now that you know how to progress your way through the event let's go through what you actually get from it now first of all you get a hundred thousand credits which very nice if you're a free-to-play player you literally just need to play one game i believe it is yeah it costs two tickets so one game and you literally have a hundred thousand credits in your bank no problem you get some kit coins from this event which is very nice and you can get about a thousand kit coins from this event if you get up to the level eight which costs 44 tickets which is about 22 games you can get about a thousand kit coins from here then you have xp boosters very nice if you're a free-to-play player camouflage for the intergalactic camouflage not my forte uh for that reason yeah it's cool it's a camouflage what can i say then you get to a very peculiar looking item it's called the icy surprise and from here it says it'll come in handy at the end of the year so i'm assuming that you will be able to open this for maybe a lot of xp or maybe a tank or something cool at the end of the year since wargaming is wanting you to keep your hands on it now when you get it you can sell it immediately but like they say you can keep it and if you press on it it does tell you it'll come in handy at the end of the year so why not take their word for it keep it in your garage don't go and sell that see what we can get at the end of the year might not be great might be great so yeah we never know as of now get more xp boosters and uh 000 credits very nice then you have a new attachment now it's called the robo companion and i won't lie it looks kind of cool it's funky looking you can attach it to your tank and have a little companion to keep you company which i guess is cool and uh yeah it's an attachment nothing we haven't seen before then we have more xp boosters gold which is very nice 20 gold boosters in total i believe you're getting uh what is that 35 gold boosters which if you play tier 10 that's 20 for each and if it's 35 you get about 700 gold from this event which is not a lot obviously but it's a lot that you wouldn't have regardless if you didn't spend any money or didn't watch any advertisements and all that so very nice that they've added gold more xp boosters uh times five boosters here 
more XP boosters, and then you have the two best prizes. Now, I've already gone over the XP expert container. I'll go a bit more over it in just a second, but you can see that you can get the T42, a tier seven American medium tank. That is a premium tank, obviously, and it's not the greatest tank out there. I'm just going to say that right now. 2,000 damage per minute, not that bad. Not going to go fully in depth on this vehicle since it is not a review on the tank, but in my opinion if you're going to get any of the top rewards in here the expert container or the t42 i do suggest grinding all the way up to the S expo container since you can get a tier 10 collectible tank which in a way can always get you 7500 gold if you ever wanted to sell it so you can't really get anything from getting the t42 and if you get the t42 first you're not going to have a greater chance of getting the expo container so i would really recommend if you're going to get any of them first go for the expo container and if you do still have time after that you can still go ahead and grind the t42 which it is a free tier 7 premium tank so i mean you know it's not the baddest award you can only get one vehicle from the expo container but like i said you have a lot of tier 10s to choose from here a lot of good tier 9s a lot of good tier 8s and some overpowered tier 7s like the annihilator obviously there's no smash in here because wargaming is not going to be that nice and give you some free smasher they'd rather leave that for the snow globes at the end of the year you can also get a free present when you first load up the game so if you haven't done that yet you can load up a free present and uh i've already obtained mine so that's why it's asking for 50,000 xp here but i mean xp is a resource that you can get free and very easily so if you do have a lot of it and you're not going to or you're not thinking of grinding anything else soon then definitely spend your xp on the box of presents i mean you can get the chance of getting an expert container and for that reason you can get very lucky regardless i do recommend you guys to spend your xp on here not gold because while you do have a better chance of getting an expert container with spending gold I would rather spend it on snow globes and i say that because the snow globes and the event in the snow globes usually has a price pool of tanks that is a lot greater than the expo container right now and for that reason i do recommend you to save your gold but if you do have some lying around wide as well might as well it's a new the biggest event we've had so far uh, in terms of uh, earning something really big and pretty easily now let me know what you guys think of this event in the comments let me know if i missed anything and if i did you can always let me know in the comments like i said or in my discord server there is a link in the description if you'd like to join that if you did enjoy this you can leave a like and subscribe it really helps me out and i greatly appreciate it guys hopefully we can hit a thousand subscribers fairly soon it'll be a great dream of mine anyways guys that's it for me today hope your shells hit their marks and i'll check you in the next one goodbye